Okay, welcome to another Ginge Mathematician video. Hello, welcome to another Ginge Mathematician video. Okay, welcome to another Ginge Mathematician video. Okay, welcome to another Ginge Mathematician video. Okay, welcome to another Ginge Mathematician video. Welcome to another Ginge Mathematician video. Hello, welcome to another Ginge Mathematician video. Okay, welcome to another Ginge Mathematician video. Okay, welcome to another Ginge Mathematician video. So please ignore the hair, the hair is really out of control today. Hello and welcome to my 1000 subscribers video. I never thought I'd get here. I'm really, really pleased to put this video out to you for all my subscribers that have subscribed over the last exam period or before and really enjoyed my content. It's been really good to see how many of you have been interacting with my videos, commenting, giving suggestions, which is really, really good as it improves my videos each and every time that I actually make them. What's really, really good is that you're giving me ideas as well. So about the IB, for example, and doing some past paper walkthroughs, that was your suggestions, and then I did the videos to hopefully make your life easier revising for the exams. But every now and then, I do like to make a bit of fun, a bit of light-hearted maths videos and chess videos and other things as well. I'm glad you've uh, supported that as well. So without further ado, we're gonna get stuck into my 1,000 subscriber video, Who is the Ginger Mathematician? Right, I think you're going to enjoy it. Okay, so who is the Ginger Mathematician? Well, my name is Sam Gower, so I've been teaching maths now for quite a while, seven or eight years. Okay, maybe even a bit longer than this. Uh, I come from a place called Canterbury in South East England, so you can see not far from London. So this is where I was brought up. Okay, this is where I'm originally from. And you can see the city, <laughs> it's changed quite a bit from say Victorian times to what it looks like now. That's the River Stour. Very, very beautiful, one of the oldest cities in England. I'd really recommend that you get to go and see it. This is my school here. So as you can see, it's a little bit dark and miserable, but um, that's England for you. You can see got a lovely lake in the middle. And you can see some of the uh, school buildings. I also take it from the other angle as well. It's not always this gray. So this uh, lovely, lovely house is where I did a lot of my English lessons and sociology lessons back in the day. So I started studying for my A-levels. Hopefully you can spot which one is me. Probably I think it's gonna be fairly obvious. And you can see the lovely 1990s pictures uh, that we had there. I guess the quality is not as good as it is now. And then I went to the University of St. Andrews. So you can see north of Edinburgh. And this is where I studied mathematics with German. So it's 75% maths and 25% German. And there was uh, one event that uh, comes to mind. It's called Raising Weekend. I'll let you have a watch and uh, See what you think about this interesting St. Andrews tradition. Other things that we did at St Andrews, so uh, there's something called a torch procession, so you can see in here trying to eat a torch. Uh, the picture in the middle was my very, very uh, first flat in St Andrews, and even worked part-time at Boots to earn a little bit extra money to take myself through university. And as you can see, there was always time to party in St Andrews. Okay, a few pictures from what I did, and yeah, uh, hopefully I can give you a sort of flavor of exactly what St Andrews was like.
Okay, hope you enjoyed that quick summary of uh, my early life and going to university and going to school. Again, if you would like to know more about me, about uh, where I went from university, then please put a comment in the uh, comments below. And you never know, on that 2,000 subscriber video, maybe I'll go into a bit more detail. All right, see you on the next video.